Scott's on his way to the University of Western Ontario. He'll meet Professor Owen, who moved to Canada last year, but still collaborates with colleagues in Cambridge. Scott, right, this is your big chance. We really want you to try as hard as you can to imagine playing tennis for us. OK, we're going to ask you to imagine playing tennis quite a few times while you're in the scanner. And if you can do that, then we'll be able to see your brain activating. So I want you to imagine you're standing on a tennis court and moving your arm around as much as you can. All right, so we're going to put you in the scanner now. Just do your best. Stay awake. Hello Scott, uh, we're going to try again, we're going to try and get you to imagine playing tennis. Imagine. Okay, we've got a little bit of activity there. Scott is such a clear responder, they decide to ask a question that no patient in this position has ever been asked before. A question which could have profound consequences. We're going to ask you a question about you this time. A question about, about you and the way that you're feeling. And I want you to try and answer this question for us. I want you to tell us whether you are in any pain. Think about your body. Does any part of your body actually hurt right now? Are you in pain? Right, so what does that tell us that he's imagining trying to answer? It tells us that he's imagining playing tennis, and I've told him to imagine playing tennis if the answer to the question is no. So that would suggest if... Well, that would suggest he's not in pain. That would suggest that he's not in pain, which is a big relief. Have you ever asked that question before of any patient? No. No. 